This is the elevator. Those are some of the biggest Otis's I've ever seen. Those are huge. Yeah. Elevonic 411M. Otis Elevator, yep. Very similar to the Merritt Marquis machines. World's first video of the Weston machine, and guys. I guess we have permission. The engineer said I could film. Wow. Western Atlanta, Georgia main elevator machine, guys. We do have permission to film here because this boss said that he that it could film into tortoise. Wow. Yeah, this I know. He knows. He knows never to get your hands. What do you think? I crazy. What do you yeah. say? Thank you. Yeah, I definitely want to film in here because, like, these machines are impressively large. I love the noises that these uh, DC drives make, like the harmonic you know, noises heard, they make. When you in stay in the room, you hear the, the humming noise like here. Yes. everywhere. We had so many guests complain. Something's happening in my room, man. No, that's the elevator. Yeah, for me, I actually like that sound. Look at that one. Those are the safety governors. That one seems to have a bearing issue. I believe this one's gonna go. Which one's gonna go now? Up that one. Oh yeah, going up the four, 1,400 feet per minute. One of them's either selling or something. The classic style safety governors. Like, oh, this is old design safety governors, and these are 1,400 feet per minute. Insane machine. This is the best motor ever. Look, it even tells you where it is. 61st floor. It's a nice air conditioner because I've been in some machine rooms where it's so hot in here, it's unbearable. Yep. That's for the phone or remote control system. I believe it's for the remote controls. Yeah. These machines don't make much noise, especially for being 1,400 feet per minute. Except for the harmonic buzzing noise. The guy said everybody in the hotel can hear and they get complaints. Yep, definitely a DC motor sign. So you have to be careful stepping over this. Something's touching that uh, where the encoder is. Right where the en right where the tack code encoder is. Something's scraping on that. You can see 
the the communicator and the armature. There's the armature, and then back in there's the communicator. And then there's the encoder and decoder. One of them on the motor there. Oh yeah, there it goes. Elevator number six. Something of the attack of, and I forgot what it's called, the taco strip. These are your main power switches. Westinghouse power switches. Oh, these are old ones. These are your uh, DC. What is that? Uh, these are the DC drive isolators right here. Two DC drive isolators. Elephonic 411M controllers. Look, it's going down. Watch how fast it is go. Real time action of how fast it is. Espresso now. Wow. Is, there, is that a safety governor for the up direction or for the counterweight? I'm not sure which one it is. No dead hitch plates. No dead hit. No dead hitch plates for the roping system. Careful walking over this cover. And here's this one, number two. There's number one. I'm not going to show the face, it's the guy. Yeah. Elevator number eight. Up there goes that one. See the armature really well in this position. See, it's sitting 90 feet. There it is, that lobby. Wait here, tight squeeze. You never want to be touching these. If you ever touch anything other than the frame of these, and especially you don't want to touch anything on these because it's hard to tell what moves. Like that moves and it looks like the frame. You want to be careful on these type of machines. Hope one of these two goes soon. Oh, there goes this one. Tis and crumping teensies. Guys, stop yelling at me for for going into machine room saying, oh no, you're not supposed to be in here. You think I could get into the machine room with a key card reader? Yeah, right. No. I have a per the one of the engineers is here with me. Heard one just start moving. What is moving? And up there, I'm guessing that's to the elevator that goes up the 70. I'm not sure. What elevator machine is up there? That might be up to the roof. Careful of the cover. It's a pretty properly labeled machine. Or all the all the, all the wrists are mostly labeled, not the machines. I like these old style Otis's. These are crazy big. And these are clearly original to the building from '78. See this one. I'm not going to touch it, but these machines are massive. The floor up there. This machine's a good five, four. I'm a, I'm a around 
five foot five ish and it, this machine's almost six feet tall this machine's like five foot eleven inches tall this machine's like six feet tall actually this machine's huge walk around the controllers and dc drives not dc drives dc drive drives are in the controllers you see the little things on the cable showing you how fast it is if you don't believe me it's in the espresso and this remember western peachtree plaza it's a 72 floor hotel oh that's it i see there's one over there, and then there's another one looping back onto the sheath. That's easy. There's a couple, di and there's two diverting sheaths down there. Watch, slowing down. See what it looks on? 66. Almost my favorite number, 69. Where will this one go next? never want to touch any parts that could move in these machines because if they move at any time you could get very injured and don't be stuck like oh no. oh thank you for making that beautiful harmonic noise that disturbs the guests this one should be pretty busy because it's like 9 a.m. or something. Which one is it gonna be? These two machines. Carefully walk over to this one, and I'm not gonna be close to this thing. I know what this is. I know everything in here. The guy just doesn't want me to be too near anything. I'm gonna show him that I know how to be safe. You can see those are drum brakes right there. It looks like the bearings are in an oil pool, like Otis's newer Skyrise machines. The bearings are in an oil pool, just like that, to have them to help them last longer. Weston's at the Hilton, clearly haven't been lasting that long. Although they were installed like earlier than these, but they don't have an oil pool, so that's why they are elevator eight, <laughs> making that noise. Here it goes again. Slowing down. These things take a bit to slow down. And it always sm and it smells like a high rise machine because I can smell the carbon in here. High rise machines have a distinctive smell of like warm electric motors. At this point, I'm used to the smell of hydraulic mushrooms and know what traction machinery smells like. It's like a separate smell for me. I wonder what those ladders go up to. We have to ride the sundial element. Right here, this one, elevator number two, is going full speed. It doesn't look that fast, but trust me, 1,400 feet per minute. These are the fastest elevators I've ever ridden. Huge motors and armatures. Otis does a good job making. Alright.